listen, big guy, gotta run. Late for a heat wave. Yeah. Toodles. And it's hot in here. So how does a pap smear end up on my chart next to my name? My name is Vinny, not Bonnie. To be honest with you, I'm glad the pap smear came back clean, though. Because you never know. I also see here, apart from your trespassing charges, we've also heard a complaint from a little boy who claims to have, quote, seen mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night, end quote. That's from a song. Don't give me that excuse. You can't blame it on the music. Every criminal tries to do that. That doesn't wash with me, pal. I was delivering toys to the nice children and coal to the naughty children. No, you admit you were trying to poison thousands of children with coal. It's Christmas Eve. Rick, I told you before about that sign. It's unacceptable. Customer appreciation is our number one priority. And I know you know about our article in Cinema Spot Magazine, 1975. Evergreen treats the customer right. It's about customer care. I can't even believe you right now. You were my assistant manager. I was? How are you firing me? Miss Roberts, your shift begins at 9 o'clock, which means I expect you in your chair at 9 o'clock. I can't imagine how I could make that any clearer. It's nine o'clock or nothing at all. This is your last warning. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. <sighs> you know you can trust me, Jimmy. Listen, oh, little punk, I gave you everything. I know, it's just... I Don't just... interrupt! Listen. When I found you, you were a street punk eating out of a garbage can. I trained you. I took you in like a son. I made you the best of the best. This is how you repay me? 